Hey there, Kayla Williams. This is Bryson from KWU, and today we'll be learning how to add contacts to a smart plan. So first, let's get logged in to agent.kw.com with our Kayla Williams login credentials. Once you're logged in, click the smart plans icon on the left sidebar. If you notice that the smart plan you're looking for isn't visible, you can always go to the smart plans library and add the smart plan that you want. Once your smart plan has been added, make your way to the right side of the screen and click Add Contact. Next, we will select the contacts we want to have added to our smart plan. To do so, just click the checkbox next to the name. If you want to select an entire page of contacts, you can click Select All. You can also filter contacts by tags that you've created. And you can also sort your contacts by first or last name. I'd also like to mention that you can only add up to 50 contacts at a time to a smart plan. So just keep that in mind while you're doing this. After your contacts have been selected, click add to smart plan. Now we will decide when we would like for the smart plan to start. So by default, it'll be set to start all now. If you want your smart plan to start on a specific date, you can do so with this option. Just click the calendar icon and select the date you want the smart plan to start. Another option we have is a stagger start over the next few days. And pretty much staggering allows you to distribute when the smart plan starts for a large group of people. And you can choose to start the smart plan for a specific amount of people per business day until all are added to the smart plan. So let's say you want to add all of your contacts to your quarterly call smart plan. You more than likely aren't going to be able to make all of those calls in one day. So a stagger start will allow you to space those calls out evenly. And you can select the maximum amount of contacts per day you want added to the smart plan. Once you're all set here, click confirm. Next, we'll confirm that we have all of the correct contacts subscribed to the smart plan. If you find that there is a contact that doesn't belong there, you can just click the X icon next to the name, now to remove it. Once everything is good to go here, just click confirm. And as you can see, all of the contacts have been successfully added. One more thing I'd like to also mention is that you can add contacts from your contact list to a smart plan as well, either by clicking the three dots next to the contact and clicking add to smart plan or if you want to add a group of contacts together, just select them, click select bulk action, then click add to smart plan. Next, you'll click select next to the smart plan that you want. And from here, you'll select when you would want the smart plan to start. For more resources, click the question mark in the top right hand corner of your screen. Click Keller Williams University and use the search. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. But for more great videos, check some out over here.